Supreme Scully here. Yeah, wow, that was bad. All right, I'm gonna go with it. I'm probably not gonna redo this, let's be real. So, uh, felt like making a video. Um, I've never vlogged before. I don't know what I'm doing. That's beside the point. You're, you're, you're here. Just roll with it. Oh, it's getting dark. And my neighbor is in her backyard. It's great. All right. So, summer jobs. They happen. Um, some of them are good. Some of them are not. Uh, camp counselor. That's one that could go either way. Um, hmm, hmm. I was uh, the arts and crafts director at a camp. And, um... Some of the kids we had were, they were interesting. There was, there was like hundreds of them. It was over seven weeks, it was so long, oh my god. But uh, there was this one, there was this one kid, this one week, and um, yeah, he was something. We're gonna call him uh, G-Man, because I don't wanna use his name, but he's just a kid, okay. So, G-Man, uh, he didn't, he didn't want to be at camp. He would not hesitate to let any of his counselors know that. He came to my area. He didn't want to participate. I, I didn't want to force him, you know? It's crafts. Not everyone wants to make a pinwheel or a frisbee. My crafts weren't that great. Mm, mm, whatever. Some of the kids had fun. He didn't want to participate, so I didn't make him. And as long as someone was watching him, we'd let him, like, go off in the woods. There's trees. Yeah, there's broken glass. But, yeah, we trusted that he had enough common sense not to touch it. That's okay. And, um, he had, he had some quirks. So, one day during lunch, uh, we had a policeman come with his dog to entertain the kids. Tell them about police work. And at the end, they get to pet the dog. Everyone's happy. Except G-Man. G-Man, he didn't like dogs. He did not like dogs. Um, and he's very vocal about things he doesn't like. But when he's vocal, he's not necessarily loud. And you don't necessarily know that he's there. So uh, on this day, at lunchtime, I'm sitting at the staff table eating my tuna salad, or whatever the fuck I had. It's getting dark again. Wait for that, okay. And, um, G-Man was behind me. I did not know G-Man was behind me. But he just kind of slid in behind me. And he leaned in close. Ooh, look at my eyeliner. Wow, it's so even. It's the most even my eyeliner is ever going to get. But he leans in close right behind me. I still don't know he's there. He's right, he's right by my ear. He's in my ear hole. I can feel his breath, so at this point I'm like, oh, 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 hi. And, um, he, uh, uh, why, why aren't you over with the other kids at, um, seeing the police dog? And he leans in, and he goes, dogs have no souls. They're just trained to kill. I said, oh, okay. All right, that's fine. You don't have to be over there. Just make sure you're somewhere where I can keep an eye on you. And so, he decides he wants to go over to the field. I think he's gonna like, I don't know, look for four leaf clovers, play with the soccer ball that's chilling there. Uh, no, he, uh, there's geese on the field. This, this is a park. There's geese. There's like goose poop everywhere, everywhere shoes. It's everywhere. It's mushy. It's so gross. There's, there's geese everywhere. Geese are evil. Evil. Spawn of Satan. You look in your eye, you look in their eyes, you see death. Just nothing. They don't, they don't care. They're geese. Um, and there's geese on the field. He says, I'm gonna go over on the field. Say, okay. So, uh, I go back to eating my lunch. And then, um, you know, I look over at him. He's on, the, he's on the far side of the field. So I'm like, G-Man, come back. And then um, I notice that he is with a bunch of geese. I'm like, 
okay. And I get get away from the birds. Come come back over here. And makes a face at me. He goes. Mm, mm. Uh, but then he does eventually come back over. Said, I don't want you near the geese. I don't want they might bite you. They're they're wild animals. I don't know what they're gonna do. And he goes, Well he he doesn't just say it. He leans in close again and his voice drops and he goes, The geese are my only friends. They understand me. I'm like, oh, okay. Well just keep your distance. Keep your distance from them, alright? Okay? We're good, G Man's good, it's all good. Uh, then a day or two later, we have the firemen come for them at lunch. And, you know, we walk them across the bridge to the parking lot. So the fire truck's there. There's two guys in uniform. I'm gonna take them around, like, see the truck. And, um, there's a giant pond at this park. And that's, like, that's what the bridge is over. So there's the field. There's the pond. There's a bridge over it. Then there's the parking lot. That's where the fire truck is. And then there's, like, a slope down to the pond. All the kids are kind of, they're like on the curb, but they're like spilling over onto the slope. And I am like stationed at the edge of the water. Be like, no, 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 you're not going in the water. Because what do children do? They want to do everything you tell them not to do. Most of that involves picking up rocks. Kids always have rocks in their hands. I don't know why. Like, I developed, like, a, another sense. Like, just be like, put down that rock. How did you even, you can't, you can't see me. Put down the rock. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, G-Man, he doesn't want to, he, he's not interested in the fire truck. Um, you know, he's probably seen a fire truck before. They, that's, they come to schools and stuff. I don't know, we just assume kids like that. Um, I know I never did. So I can't blame G-Man when he doesn't want to sit and watch the fire truck. Uh, but, uh, he can't, he can't go in the water and that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to go in the water. I'm like, can you, Go back up at least by the trees. It's like, I don't want to do this. I want to go look at the geese. I'm like, well, you can, you can see them from here. You know, we're only a couple feet away. We're like five, five feet-ish from the water. It's all muddy, goose poopy. I'm like, I don't want you down there, all right? We'll both be happier if you don't go down there. It's like, but I, I, want, to, I want to see the geese. I'm like, um, you got to stay back here. Um, okay. So, a couple minutes later... Uh, firemen are wrapping up, the kids are done, we have to walk them back across the bridge, so we're getting them all, like, standing up in their lines by their groups, because it was, like, they're in dens, and, um, the geese that are in the water, there's a lot of them, there's, like, eight, they start to come up the slope, but they're not just waddling around being geese, they're, like, they're hissing at children. Uh, one came so close to me, I felt breath on my leg. And geese have teeth. Like, one of my co-workers, he didn't know that geese have teeth. They do. They're sharp. They're scary. Geese are evil. Okay? They don't give a shit. They're evil. Like, the geese are coming out of the water. They're, they're hissing. They're like, <sighs> their wings are going up. They're chasing children. You know what J-Man says? He comes close to me. I don't know. He's there. Again, recurring theme here. He's he likes to approach you from outside your line of vision. No eyesight. You don't see him. You don't know he's there till he's talking. And he comes up behind me. And he says, They're coming out to socialize. Okay. All right, G-Man. All right. Go get your water bottle, we're going back over the bridge. Nope. Nope. I'm done. <gasps> I don't even know. He wasn't the scariest kid. Like, I mean, he wasn't scary. I've seen scarier things. Like, you know, that's not bad. He's just a kid. Kids have their quirks. But he... Ah! Made me uncomfortable. He liked dinosaurs, you know? You got a question about a dinosaur? Don't know why you'd have one. But if you did, you ask G-Man. Because if he wasn't off in the woods playing with broken glass, he had a dinosaur book. He was happy. But yeah, the geese. The geese. Mm -mm, no. Come on, socialize. I, I don't know what to think. 
honestly.